Hello guys, today we will talk about Soviet anti-tank mines. There is of course many families, most of them are in use, but the most, by far the most common is TM62. In this case, this case it's TM62M. Man mean, M mean that the case of the mine itself, the casing, it's metallic. There is also version P, where the case is made out of uh, thin plastic which is much better because it's much harder to detect those with the metallic detectors. Also, there is some very odd versions that are just pure pressed plastic only with some glazing over it and stuff like this, but really the P, the M version are the most common. The amount of the pressed ENT of the explosives is in all variants around 8 kilograms. The total weight is around 10. Two of the most commonly used detonators for those, for those it's the MVP62. This one, after removing the safety pin, the, uh, without any sound, during the arming procedure, which take one to two minutes, there is little siphon that's getting uh, filled with air. After it's f f full, the mine is armed, okay? Then we have the most common MVG62. Here we have like a little clock inside, so uh, the amount of time, of the arming time is the same, it's around two minutes. Usually we would pre-assemble those before going to layer them. It's to ma make sure that yes, they are complete and that while in the process of digging, you don't get any debris into the mine nest. Here we have little rubber seal that tend to fall out very easily, so be careful on that. We just screw it in as a giant screw. You can hand tight it, but also those thieves around, there is special key to make it even tighter, make it totally sealed. As you can see, I pre a little bit for it. Uh, you always need something to collect the ground into. In my case, it's ammo box. When you would do some the diversion behind enemy lines, you need something like sandbag or pillowcase that you can really open wide, collect all the ground. As you can see, when you digging down this mines, it's surprisingly big amount of ground that you need to move. So you cre create proper proper nest for it of the proper depth. So yes, in sand it's okay, but in uh, hard gravel that is usually on the roads, it's uh, really time consuming. So, we dug a pit. We seat it in. We put on the camouflage layer. Like so. to make it flush with the ground, when the whole assembly, including the camouflage layer, it's slightly above the ground, that's okay too. So, in all of the, these mines, you just press these two wings together, remove it as so, and remove the safety, Papa. like so. But the mine is still not yet activated. You need to press this button. And you can hear the sound of the mine arming. This takes around two minutes. While this mine is mar uh, arming, what is the procedure for getting rid of these mines? Here with MVP we really can't do it. We, we must unscrew it. You must open the lower casing then press like little part inside, then put the safety back. But fortunately with this MV MVC, we can do such thing. It's after removing this rubber cap. There is a hole for specialized key that have very odd shape. So it's hard to replicate in the field, do it just with knife. Yeah, you really need this key. You put it in the keyhole and start turning. Here that it immediately stopped the arming process. Then we 
take the safety we slide it back on as so and we can put it back together press together like so now we can remove the key the mine is disarmed the detonator is basically in its transportation configuration we can dug out the mine we can dug out the mine then just remove the detonator and we got ourselves a mine of course you would do this with grappling hook in case there is any anti-lift device Now, this mine should be able to break the track on basically any tank. If, if you're not sure or if you're afraid that one mine would not be enough, it's simple. You just double stack them. You put detonator only into the upper one. You put another one just under it. That's around 20 kilograms of TNT. And that, that should be enough for every, anything you can encounter. In field, if you have some uh, from somewhere before the safety pins, you can get yourself lots of explosive this way. You just use the key, disarm the mine, put those pins on, get yourself the mine itself and you are good to go. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Re uh, currently I'm under little attack <laughs> from the pro-Russian trolls. They're removing my videos, stuff like this. But don't worry, I will keep continue as long as I can. All is good and also in like one week I will try to do a little fundraiser because our finances are a little bit fucked at the moment. <laughs> so yes, around, in around one week we will do a little bit to collect some uh, money for parts for cars. But stay tuned for that. In the meantime I will be putting up more videos. Thank you very much guys.